early on, and Iggy was able to uh, to step in. And again, when he, t he had the opportunity, he made the most of it. And just like Isaiah has made the most of his opportunities this year and has really grown as well. So it's, those are two unique players, uh, two really talented players. And you know, Isaiah's uh, has been Isaiah has been great throughout the year, um, going in and out of that role and accepting that. And Iggy, you know, it, it, as a as a, as a freshman, he is simply he, the, the thing that is able to allow him to fit in the fastest is just his, his IQ. He just really has a high basketball acumen and an understanding of spacing and concepts. And he really can pick up things very quickly when you go from the film room to the court and then from a drill to five on five. There's a lot of carryover with Vicky. He's a very, very smart player. When did you first see that? I think, uh, you know, from a defensive standpoint, I saw it probably a little bit in Europe, but more, more importantly in the middle of September and then into October. And then when we went probably to Villanova and won, it was kind of, it, he just had it. Every day he grew and he always asked great questions and he really also had the mindset that he always wanted to be, you know, throughout the recruiting process, he wanted to be an elite two-way player. And, you know, there was a little chip on his shoulder that, that people said he, he doesn't he doesn't want to guard. And he proved this year that, uh, you know, he is a more than capable defender and he's had a really, really productive freshman year. It's hard to do what he's done uh, from a defensive standpoint, from scheme, who you're playing, who you're guarding. And he's rolled that all into, into one. So really proud of him. And, and again, our, our guys have helped him along. We have good good leadership that's helped Iggy adjust as well. What are the, what are the biggest... You. How are you? How are you doing, brother? Great to, to see you, brother. What are the, what's the biggest difference between Montana last year and Montana this year? Well, the, the obvious is experience. Yeah. You know, and, and it's you can't really put a price tag on that or judge it. Um, but overall, they just have they're they're more an all-around skill team. At any point, they can put uh, three or four guys on the floor, sometimes five, that can all dribble, pass, and shoot. Uh, they do a great job of taking care of the ball, and then they just create and put pressure on you to guard well as a team throughout the course of the game. Because if one or two guys are out of sync defensively, they have somebody on the floor that's going to make you pay. So I think you know, the, the skill level, the experience, and uh, the growth that uh, their staff has done in skill development and the, the players, how they've grown skill-wise are... You know, it's it's a testament to them. You watch a lot of film on them last year, then you watch this year, and you just see a team that's grown. And again, their, their coaching staff, their players uh, have a veteran group. They play like veterans, they act like veterans, and then they have a freedom within their system to play. Um, and they do it well because they're really skilled. Luke, how did the coaching staff help the guys after Sunday kind of regroup and refocus for, for this weekend? I, I think you we help our, our our players by what we've done and what Coach B has established in the 12 years he's been here is that you know, you're going to prepare the same way every, every game. Um, you're going to understand and learn from your mistakes, and then you're not going to let it let it dwell on you. So at the end of the day, we watch our film, we make our adjustments, we understand, and we learn from a loss. Um, and Coach has a great phrase. He always says, you don't learn, uh, lose, you learn. And we learn from that loss. Hopefully we can apply those lessons. And the great thing about you know, our program is that you know, when you do have a slip-up and you, you take an L, you come back um, with a better effort the next game. We certainly hope that it's, it's true of uh, this game and the other side of it is the, it's the NCAA tournament. You're the two seed, all right? It didn't work out on Sunday the way we, we wanted it to, but there's a lot of teams that want, would love to be in our position, and you have an opportunity to win one game, which leads you to another game, and hopefully, uh, you know, for our goal of winning the national championship, but that's that's how we approach everything is that next job is to beat Montana and we got to prepare to do that. We learn from the Michigan State loss and we move on. At what point did that folk do that? Well, last year they were on a month, month, month change winning streak, went in the Big Ten and everything. I mean, was it harder to get them in that, hey, we're the two seed, we're confident, we're oh, on for, a roll still? Yeah, for sure. There was, uh, you know, we had that week off last year. It was a little different. Uh, but at, at the end of the day, um, 
you know, it took a little bit of time uh, just to get the mindset right. There's some disappointment there, obviously, uh, dealing with uh, with the loss in, in that environment, obviously, in that, that type of game. So that's human nature and part of sports. But our kids are really resilient, and you know, we're ready to go. And that that is we're we're beyond that. We kind of flushed that out, and we're ready and focused entirely on Montana. You're number one in the country in defense, but you still get the sense that you're not satisfied. Would you ever be satisfied? No. Yeah. Uh, no, never satisfied. I think there's always ways that we can grow and uh, as a defensive unit, and there's always mistakes you look at and say we coulda, shoulda, woulda, yeah. and uh, you, you take those coulda, shoulda, wouldas, and you turn them into um, film opportunities and then on the court discussions, and you hope to not make those mistakes again uh, but we have really good defensive players we have a really good plan each and every night uh, we always you know, three coaches and our entire staff do a great job of trying to prepare as best that we can and our players are really excited about learning it and, and about winning so uh, they know that our, our culture is based on in part on some def defensive effort and you know, we want to keep growing so the uh, it's great where we're at but you're only as good as your as your last game and your next game is your entire focus. So we're we're excited about that. But the, the defensive part is, you know, it's been good this year. It's helped us win some games, uh, and we hope it uh, can help us get six more. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. Yes. Yeah.